Hello and welcome to this month's Maggie Moment. Uh, I want to chat today about little ones transitioning to big school because every year there's, there's lots of you that this happens for. And while we're excited, aren't we, that they're just transitioning off into a big part of their life, it can be really tough. It can be tough for mummies and daddies, but it can be really tough for our little ones. So <clears throat> I want to talk to you about some of the things that really can help and some of the things to be really mindful of um, of expecting too much too soon. Now, your children in those early years of life have, you know, hopefully created a very strong bond of love and attachment to you, which is the reason why they want to crawl into bed with you some nights when they're scared, because you're their big safe people. And so when they're leaving to go into a, um, an area, again, lots of them have been doing this in their long daycare situations, but school's a whole different environment for a whole lot of other reasons. So it is a new experience and anything new and unpredictable can make us feel anxious. Our sensitive children struggle a lot more than our roosters, but our roosters can also struggle. So your first challenge is how do I build the relationship between my child and their now next big protector or growing up, which will be their teacher. So again, making some time, I'm, you know, I'm really a believer if you can get a photo with the teacher and your child and stick on your fridge so that you can actually every now and then have a chat and so that get really familiar that that person is now becoming somebody safe in their world. The second thing around that is um, helping them to have a friend. So whatever you can do to encourage a friendship um, with other children, in the same group or at least in the same environment. So they want to play with someone at playtime. Now our early childhood educators are really experienced in these things, but we need to know these are things that can help soothe anxiety. Next thing is working out how is your drop off system that works best for your child again. Remember the environment is still foreign to them and they're not familiar. So those weeks it can take anywhere to three to four weeks for that environment to feel a bit more familiar. So work out what works for your, ch your child. Sometimes children like to sit down and do a puzzle or sit in the corner and read a picture book with you or something. You've got to work out what works for them that makes them feel safe. And as I said, there's not one size that fits all. When you've worked that one out, remember when you're going to say goodbye, and it is really important to know that some of your children are going to cry and, and want to cling on to you because they don't want to leave. It's absolutely okay, once again, to reassure them, obviously not let them get to the majorly distressed moment, but reassuring them and kneel down and tell them you love them, you're gonna miss them and I can't wait to pick you up later and give them something to look forward to because that's a really helpful thing. Next, leave something of you that makes them feel connected to you. So for some, it's a beautiful laminated photograph in their backpack. Um, for some, it might be a soft toy that smells of your perfume or dad's aftershave, hopefully not Old Spice. Um, but something that makes you feel close when you're not there. And then maybe put something fun into the lunchbox that makes their face light up. You know, a favorite one of their little toys and I go, oh, so what we're looking at are little things that can pick up their feelings and emotions during the day. And then once again, always, always please be early. <laughs> One of the things that can accidentally happen is aim to be there a bit early because you're, if you're late, that can trigger a massive flood of um, stress and anxiety, which will then take a while to reduce. So again, all of our kids can um, go a bit bob wobbly bobbly in in those early weeks and please make sure you've got some other parents you can have a good cry on the shoulder with if this is your first child and I can still remember crying when it was my third and my fourth and one day they eventually settle in remember it's all about relationships predictable routines and knowing that eventually it's going to be their new normal and that's all for today. If, you, if they've got any other tips that have helped transition yours, feel free to share them um, and down below. And once again, that is all for this month.